Hey everyone, welcome back to the tutorial series. So, something interesting happened. Um, there was a bug that went out of our soul. It reported I had no idea how it happened or how it could be possible. <laughs> I was very confused. Um, so, first off, shout out to Rod in the Discord for bringing it to my attention. Um, second off, I figured that this would be a great opportunity for me to walk you guys through how to troubleshoot something. So I've already confirmed that I can replicate it. So let me just go ahead and show you what's going on. So this is the project after episode 10B, right? So completely up to date, currently in the series. Obviously, if you're watching this later, it might be a little bit later in the series and you have more videos, but yeah. This is after episode 10B. So we go in here and we start out and yeah, everything's working great. We can put stuff down or not put stuff down based upon what's in the cells. And you can also see that we have a little highlight effect even when we're not holding a card. Well, whenever we draw max cards, you can actually see, first off, the highlight effect is gone. Okay, and then whenever I try to put a card in, it's not working and we're not even seeing the highlight. So obviously something is going wrong here with our placement. So here's what I know. I know that the highlight's not working correctly, and I know that placing the card's not correctly. Now the two things that those things have in common is that it's looking for the mouse to enter the cells. So my next question is, you know, is it every single cell? Is there something hidden that's blocking the, these ray casts from hitting these cells? So, if we just look across here. Oh, look at that. So, we're already getting some hints to what's going on. You can see, let me s zoom in. You can see that it's actually highlighting some cells. And it does it seems to be arbitrary. Yeah. So it seems to be arbitrary what cells are available to be highlighted, which ones are not, and they're all from this side. So my guess is that there's something invisible blocking these cells, blocking this raycast from getting there. So where do we go to view invisible things? We go to our scene. Okay, so let's uh, just scroll out here. So right now we're looking at our UI, and but we want to look at our grid cell prefab. So let's just select one of our grid cell prefabs. This is the one zero zero. So this is the one up in the top corner. So we know that this one is one of the ones that's not highlighting. So let me jump back over to our scene. I'm going to double click grid cell prefab and we can't see anything. So there's obviously something blocking it. Um, I'm zooming out here and yeah, so it looks like our card is blocking it. So I'm curious what will happen if, say, I delete this card over here. So in our hand position, this could be our first card. Um, yeah, pull this as our first card. So what happens if I just delete it? I go back to our game. And look at that. Our highlighting is working again. And I can actually place cards. It's going to air out because I deleted that card. But yeah, so I can place things now. So let me go ahead and stop playing. So our ray casts are being blocked by our cards. This is actually a super simple fix. I know how to fix this because I've encountered this kind of thing before. So Unity has this really cool thing called layers. If you click on different objects, you can see that they have this little layer tag on them. Now, our card prefab has a default layer. But if we click on this, we actually have a bunch of different options here that are default, right, in Unity. These come default. So I'm going to do two things, actually, to try and fix this. So first thing is really simple. On my card prefab, I'm just going to try... Turn it on, ignore Raycast. I'm going to hit yes, change children. Make sure everything is changed. 
And then I'm going to hit play. And I'm going to drag out our max hand. And look at that. All of a sudden, it's already fixed. We're already able to see exactly what's going on. And we're still able to place cards whenever we're at max hand. So there you go. The issue is fixed now. But I want to take this opportunity to improve things, not just fix things. I want to make them better. So, yes, we are ignoring Raycast for our cards, but what if something else gets in the way in the future? Well, that means that we need to make some adjustments in our card or in our scripts. So let's jump into our script right here. I'm going to go into our card movement script because that's where we're doing our um, setup for placing objects. But actually, before I do that, let me go into edit. I'm going to go to project settings. I'm going to go to tags and layers. I'm going to open up layers. And then this user layer six, I'm just going to name it grid. Okay. Now I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to go over to my prefabs. I'm going to go to my grid cell prefab. I'm going to change its layer to grid. Click yes, change children. So now this, this grid cell is going to be in the layer grid. Now whenever we cast ray cells, we can actually specify a layer mask that we want to hit. So I'm going to do private layer mask, layer mask. I'm actually going to rename this grid layer mask. Um, and it's going to be And this is going to be, actually, you know what, no, we, we need to set it in our awake method. So down here in our awake method, I'll make a new line, do grid layer mask, I'll we'll set it equal to layer mask dot get mask, and then I'm going to add our grid. You can actually add multiple uh, layer masks here. So you can actually look for multiple layers. But yeah, so now I'm going to go down to our handle play state. And inside of our raycast, I'm going to add something here. So this is going to be... So first we have got to put in our distance. So I'm going to do math f dot infinity. So just gotta make sure that the raycast is always going off and defending the maximum distance, basically, for a raycast. And then I'm gonna put the layer mask to grid layer mask. This will make sure that our raycasts are actually ignoring anything in between it and it's only looking for that grid. So even if something is in the way, it's still gonna look for that grid uh, layer. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna come back over here to the game. And then what I'm gonna do just to test is I'm gonna go back to the card prefab. I'm gonna set this back to default. I'm gonna hit play. Okay. And then I'm gonna draw maximum cards. And you see once again, we're not getting the highlights, but that's fine because we're just testing. I want to test I can still put a card down if something's blocking the grid. Look at that. We are able to. So now I'm going to go back to my card prefab and change it back to the ignore raycast. Yes, change children. And there we go. Our issues are solved and we are better for it in the future. Uh, thanks so much, Rod, for pointing this out. And I hope to see you all in the next video.